so how how did you manage to go from being a jobbing session musician to sitting here in Abbey Road in your own private studio? <laughs> I wish it was my private studio. <laughs> um, I did your courses, basically. I was always interested. Playing was always my first passion, and it still is, to be honest, but I always wanted to write as well. And um, I did your courses. I did music for the media, and I did cinematic orchestration as soon as it came out, 2010, I think. Yeah. Um, and went from there and that kind of enabled me to be able to write. I'd never really considered it before then. Obviously you do your assignments and you look at what you submitted for your first assignment and you look at what you submit for the last one and then you just keep going and just keep writing and like anything else you get better at it, hopefully. So uh, yeah, the courses, I wouldn't be here without them. I wouldn't have had anything to show anyone that I'd written, whether it's guitar, I mean, it's not all orchestral, I've done a few guitar albums. But I didn't have anything to show anyone. If anyone wanted to hear anything, I didn't have any scores to show them, any MP3s to send them. So it just kind of got me from thinking, oh, I wouldn't mind kind of doing that to doing it. And now, I mean, when you sit there in the box in Studio One in Abbey Road, listening to an 80-piece orchestra playing your music, mm. how would you describe that feeling? I don't know. I'm still not really used to it. It's kind of the biggest thing, I think, is you hear an idea in your head for something. You think, oh, that might work then getting it from that to being in a control room, hearing it recorded, and then having something in your hand at the end of it, whether it's a CD or a, you know, an MP3 on a memory stick, that is your track that's then out there that other people can listen to and use. So that's, that's the, yeah, from an idea to that, it's quite cool. And <laughs> and, re and realised as well as, it, you know, it, no compromise. It's no, oh, I wish the samples were better. It's best players, best room, best sound. Yes. No excuses. No, yeah, it just doesn't get better than that and I think the other thing is having my playing my guitar playing against that is a uh, it's all good so there are people out there they're wondering what to do they're thinking is it worth going down this road what what would you say to them about you know th those who are thinking of taking the plunge into our courses and our world I'd say do it but I mean I've only ever wanted to do this so I've kind of not I would always rather try and do it and fail than not do it. So if you're thinking about it, do it. Why would you not? Why would you? There's no reason not to. Just do it. If it works out, it works out. If it doesn't, it'll be a part of your life, whether you're successful with, you know, successful, whatever that means. With it or not, it'll still be a part of your life. And if you want to write, write. If you want to play, play. There's no reason not to. Fantastic. Well, congratulations and thank you very much. Thank you. Brilliant. Oh.